Welcome to our demonstration on how to configure resource pools in VMware vSphere 5.1. A resource pool is a logical abstraction for flexible management of resources. Resource pools can be used to partition available CPU and memory resources. vSphere DRS must be enabled to configure and utilize resource pools. Shares, reservations, and limits provide finite management of resource pools. For this demonstration, we have a three-host cluster that has a total of 12 GHz of CPU and 24 GB of memory that will be shared between the test and production environments. We want the production environment to have higher priority when there is contention for these resources. Creating resource pools and using shares will accomplish this goal. We will create two resource pools, one for test with shares set to normal and one for production with shares set to high. In the event of CPU and memory resource contention, the production resource pool receives 8 GHz of CPU and 16 GB of memory, and the test resource pool receives 4 GHz of CPU and 8 GB of memory. To configure the resource pool, we click on vCenter and go to Clusters. We click on Cluster 02, go to Actions, and select New Resource Pool. We start with the test resource pool. We give it the name Test and see that we have options for low, normal, and high shares in the drop down menu. We set it to normal and click OK. Now we need to create a resource pool for production. So again, we click on Actions and New Resource Pool. Give it the name Production. This time, we set the shares to high and click OK. To view our resource pools, we go back to vCenter, select Resource Pools, and see that our production and test resource pools have been created. Now we will add a virtual machine to one of our resource pools. We select Linux VM2, click Actions, then click Move To. Then we expand our environment to see the resource pool available and select Production and click OK. To see that our virtual machine has been moved to the production resource pool, we click Home and go to vCenter Resource Pools. Here we click on our production resource pool, then click the Related Objects tab and click Virtual Machines, which shows Linux VM2 is in our production resource pool. It is interesting to note that each standalone host and each cluster has an invisible root resource pool that groups the resources of the host or cluster. The root resource pool does not appear in the user interface because the resources of the host or cluster and the root resource pool are always the same. If needed, child resource pools can be created to further partition resources. Each child resource pool owns some of the parent resources. In this example, a test UI resource pool was created within the test resource pool. A resource pool can contain child resource pools, virtual machines, or both. The resource pools at a higher level are called parent resource pools. Resource pools and virtual machines at the same level are called siblings. The cluster itself represents the root resource pool. It is best to use resource pools only when necessary. Creating too many parent and child resource pools leads to management complexity. It is also important to understand that resource pools should not be used as containers for organization. Folders should be used to organize objects. For example, one might create a folder for all of the VMs belonging to the accounting department. Resource pools are for managing resources. This concludes our demonstration on how to configure resource pools in VMware vSphere 5.1. Thank you.